Okay, today we're going to take a look at how to get our PyCharm projects into GitHub. So recently I've started to work on my Python coding. I am not a professional, but I do enjoy coding some projects. I like the problem solving and figuring out the logic behind a lot of these things in code. So the first project I created was a rock, paper, scissors game. This is it here. It is a simple rock, paper, scissors game. If we run it, we can choose between easy, hard, and normal. Easy mode, you always win. Hard mode, you never win. And in normal, it's just a normal game. So we can select normal. And we can play rock, we can play paper, and we can play scissors. And it keeps score between you and the computer. If we want to change the mode of difficulty, we push D. We can select E for easy, and we will always win in this. And in hard mode, we will never win. We'll always either tie or lose. Okay, so that's the game. Now I want to get this out onto GitHub to save it, just so that we can start learning how to use GitHub and repositories there. So this took me a little bit to figure out, a little bit internet sleuthing, so that's why I'm making this video here. So in order to do this, we obviously need a GitHub account. So let's open up our GitHub. So we'll open up Firefox and we'll go to github.com, sign in, and we've created a account previously. And we'll go ahead and we'll sign into our GitHub account. And we can see here, it's a pretty brand new account. I don't have any public repositories yet. So we'll need to be logged into this in order to connect our PyCharm over to our GitHub account. So to do that, we can go to File, Settings, select Version Control. We'll go down to GitHub. And we don't have an account here, so we can select Add an Account. And for me, I'm going to, you can either log in via GitHub using your email and password, or you can generate a token. So for me, I'm going to generate a token. So it'll pop up with this and a token field and a generate button. So what we'll do is we'll select the generate button, which will bring us to our GitHub account. It'll take us to this page here. So personal access tokens, you can give it a name or a note, the duration of how long this token is valid for. I'm going to select 90 days and then I'm going to leave everything else default. If you want more for this, uh, you can go ahead and select which permissions you want. I think the default selection is all it will need for the PyCharm connection. So go ahead and click on generate token down at the bottom. And this will give us a new access token. We can click the copy button and we'll go back into PyCharm. We'll paste that into the token field and select add account. Now that that's done, we can click OK. Now, this didn't add this project to our GitHub account. So if we go over to repositories, we still don't have anything in our repositories. In order to get this project into the repository, we need to create this as a GitHub repository. Now, the quickest way to do that would be to just click the button to share the project on GitHub. This will create this project as a local Git project and send it to our GitHub account. So that's what we're going to do. Repository name is going to be RPS. It's going to be private. The origin remote. Leave that as default and we'll click on share. Okay, we'll see at the bottom, sending, add files for initial commit. So this is everything that we're going to add. And the comment's going to be initial commit. So we got successfully shared project on GitHub. So let's go take a look. If we refresh our page here, 
there's our rock, paper, scissors game. And everything in it. Perfect. We have our first project on GitHub. Now the cool thing is, if we make an edit to this, so say we remove this comment for git, or we change the comment, there's a couple ways we can do this. We can go to the git option up here and we can select push. This will commit the changes in our local git as well as push it out onto our repository on GitHub. We can select Control Shift K, or we can select one of the Git buttons over here. So we can select the commit button. We can commit which files, and we can change line 44. And we'll select commit and push. Okay, so we can see that push one commit. So if we open this up, we go down to line 44, there's our old comment. And if we refresh, we should get our new comment. Okay, there's line 44, changes made to code. Perfect, so our first repository has been created and we can now hold our Python projects in GitHub. Okay, so it's a little bit later in the day and I've made the rock, paper, scissors project private. I'm gonna make it public. So if you want to go to my GitHub profile, you'll be able to see it there and download the code, make your improvements, comments, whatever you want on my coding abilities. So let's go over to settings in the RPS project. We will go down to manage access and click on manage here. And then we're in the danger zone at the bottom change repository visibility and we'll just change it over to public we have to copy this here copy and paste okay so now we should have a, a public repository for rock paper scissors and another one called palindrome this basically looks for palindrome numbers and takes note of them in a csv file it was just something uh, to practice coding with and you can take a look at that. It's a little bit older, a few months ago I did this, so it might not be as nice code as the rock, paper, scissors, and the rock, paper, scissors probably isn't that nice of code either, but it works. So I hope that helped you getting your PyCharm connected to GitHub. I know it took me about, uh, about an hour to figure everything out and how to do it. I reset everything so that I could create a video for it just because I want to be able to make it easy for everyone like, uh, like it wasn't for me. So I'm gonna continue with my Python project and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.